how to find long tail Amazon keywords and also Amazon keywords with common roots. Let's ask our question that we always do. Why is this important and how can it make you money? Now, long tail keywords historically have a lot more of what we call buyer intent. All right. If somebody search, uh, searches decor, right, you know, maybe that keyword has some search volume. But do you think uh, the word decor is going to get many purchases? No, it's too broad. There's going to be so many different things on page one. Usually somebody who might be searching for that kind of keyword, they're just kind of browsing. They're not going to buy something from the search results. But what if it was a longer tail keyword that was like three or four words and it was like coffin decor for bedroom. Now that all of a sudden is a lot more specific. The odds that somebody searches that long tail keyword and buys it is a lot better than just one of those generic keywords. So that's one of the ways that if you can find these highly relevant long tail keywords for your product, uh, it helps you find those keywords that have a lot of buyer intent. Uh, the reason why you might want to find common roots is you want to see maybe in all of the relevant keywords for a product, what are the common single words that's like a, a, a base? Because now you can have an, an idea of what you might want to uh, run sponsored ads for in like a phrase or broad campaign. You know, like if all of a sudden you had 30 keywords that that had the word coffin in it, um, you know, you might want to go ahead and target coffin as a broad or phrase campaign, knowing that a lot of coffin related keywords are very relevant to your niche. Uh, maybe you know you have a coffin shelf, but there's some long tail keywords like coffin shelf uh, for kids or something like that that you didn't know about. Well, looking for those long tail keywords with a similar root, that's also going to help you. So how do you do that? Uh, hopping into the tool after your just regular search that you do into Cerebro, there is a section here called word frequency. So whatever shows up at the very bottom of the search results of all your keywords, this word frequency shows how many of these keywords have a certain single word in it. So you could see here, the last time we checked decor, there was 668 of these keywords all have decor in it. 323 of them have coffin, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if I want to see the keywords that maybe had at least two words instead, or let's just go three words, uh, I would enter that into word count in the minimum, all right? And then maybe I wanna see keywords that contain the word coffin. So if I do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put the um, filter of phrases containing, I'm gonna put the word coffin, and under word count, I'm going to put minimum three. Now this is telling me, hey, out of all these keywords, how many keywords here have at least three words in it and contain the word coffin? And take a look, 221 keywords out of all these keywords came up. So it's a wide, wide variety. Now let's say there's uh, it's Christmas time um, and or Christmas just passed and I don't want to look up any Christmas keywords. Maybe I'm just trying to find what keywords I want to advertise for. I should use this exclude phrases containing and I could put Christmas here, or or maybe there's in your niche like a uh, certain keyword that uh, is forbidden, you know, like a drug related keyword, and it might show up still in Helium 10 because people are searching for it. But you know, you don't want to put that in your listing or get confused. So maybe you can put that into the exclude phrases containing, uh, and then that will help you with your filtering as well. So again, whenever you do searches in Cerebro, just like we did here, you might have hundreds, if not thousands of keywords coming up. You're not going to be able to put thousands of keywords in your listing or put thousands of keywords into an Amazon PPC campaign. Your strategy is really going to hinge on how you can filter it down to get what you're looking for. And using these techniques about looking for certain uh, root words or looking for longer tail keywords, this should help you narrow those down to get those money-making keywords for you faster. <music>